Are we live? Are we live? Seems good. Alright, let's get started, shall we? Going into this completely blind, I haven't played this before. So I guess we'll go with the defaults. We got some kind of ship. Welcome to the actual universe. You may find it's different from our homeland. Should you be able to adapt to the laws of physics in a short time, I am your advisor and will help you through this mission. Okie dokie. That's getting a bit close, isn't it? As one of Cosmo and the pioneer of the Dyson Sphere program, you will explore this cluster step by step. By using the resources here to construct the Dyson Sphere to provide energy for the center brain to maintain homeland, starting from scratch. I have chosen a designated planet for you to start the mission, which has necessary resources for initial development. Now please drive the space capsule to the planet. Fantastic. How do I do that? Wazda? I can't seem to pull up. Maybe I should have checked now the keys you are first. To reach the designated planet. And then? It's looking a bit small. This is Icarus. A lightweight industrial mecha with powerful functionality. You can use the arrow keys or right click on the destination to control its movement. In this mission, you will manipulate Icarus to travel beyond the stars and create miracles. You can use the same operation to collect resources such as trees, gravel, etc. In the meantime, hold down shift and right click to give a series of commands. You receive several items after recycling the space Be more bell. Click the inventory button in the lower right corner of the screen. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. New graphics of SE looking good today. Indeed. You can hold down mouse middle button drag to rotate the angle of view or slide the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Is this the inventory? There we go. Oops, I got muscle memory told me right click was camera angle. All right, we got some iron. What's next? In the future, human beings enter the ranks of inert civilizations. All right, that tells us nothing. A hey, evil plug. Good to see you again. A hey, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, how's the volume level? I'm thinking it might be a bit high. Yet you have not unlocked Good. Construction menu, okay. Which will be done automatically when complete any technology research. Click the technology tree button at the bottom right of the screen to open the technology tree and activate a research. Alright, I guess this is what we're doing. Electromagnet. Does this tell us anything? No. 
Wind turbine, Tesla tower, power transmission. So it's a power pole. Mining machine. The more veins covered by the mining machine, the faster Energy the mining speed. If it is depleted, the activities will be restricted. You can click the mecha panel button at the bottom right of the screen to open the mecha panel and resupply fuel into the fuel chamber. Uh. Do I need this for fuel? Energy, 1.5 megajoules. Plant fuel. Where's our battery level? Oh, here it is. Alright, back to the research. Uh, what's this? Mining machine. The same vein can be covered by multiple mining rigs, but the more mining rigs rings covered, the faster the consumption. Alright, so it's your basic ore miner. Magnetic coil. So this is our red science pack. 1200 hashes. Double click item to view the Recipe. Right, so we need copper plate, copper ingot, rather, and magnets, which come directly from iron. Can we do like a handcraft or do we need a machine? Replicator? Alright. Um, is it going to keep that queued up until I get the resources or what? Let's get some then. I think I saw another resource over here somewhere. There it is. Or energy depleting. Got to numb some more trees, I guess. And the crafting is happening automatically. Fantastic. Oh, and the research is done. Alright, so we got wind, power, power pole, and mining. Uh, how do I bring up the... You have a mining machine to Pick it up from the inventory, or select it on gathering of construction menu to build it. Pick it up from the inventory. Oh, it just gave us one. You can use the R key to rotate the mining machine for covering more veins. The more veins covered, can the I cover all of these? Nice. If you want to ignore grid snapping, try holding down the shift key. So I need to make another one of those. Um, and then some power. Building your production facilities is not powered. You need to keep it within the power coverage area and supply it with power. Does that nine mean it takes nine seconds? Normal works. And one of these, one of these. Okay. Mecha core's energy is insufficient. Moving, gathering, building, replicating items, doing anything at all. Slower movement speed and unable... Okay, so it just slows us down. Alright, cool. Uh, where's our... I don't suppose Q would be the button, would it? Got our mining machine ready. How many of these can I fit? Uh, 
under one mining machine. I think this is going to be the limit right here. Alright, let's put these next to each other. I'm not going to get more than eight. Insufficient required items. And then we need some wind turbines. Does it matter where I put them? Doesn't seem to. Just have to. Wind turbine. You have established your first power grid. Not all power facilities has its power supply area. Use the Tesla tower to extend the area of the power grid. Oh, is this the supply area? Tesla tower. Go. Fantastic. The first power How much power do we have? Power. Not enough for this. Can carry out short distance wireless power transmission and expand the power supply area of the power grid. Click on it to view the current power grid information. So I'm guessing I can't put these very close together. And we're gonna need at least one more. How do I craft? Inventory. Replicator is F. Go. That's gonna take a moment. And away we go. So these will all be connected, right? Looks like it. 100% satisfaction. Nice. And... What's all this then? That's my inventory. Wait. That is my inventory. So why, when I click on the mining machine... I can just take that. Okay. I guess this is for a belt output, maybe? Still got plenty of power. Alright, what's next? Let's just craft everything we can. No, I think research is what we should be looking at. What's next? Electromagnetic matrix. One of the basic, f one of the five basic source codes that keep the center brain simulating. Foundation of all scientific and technological research. Matrix lab. More matrix lab, the faster production of research speed can process. Okay. And what about this? Auto -mel metallurgy. Smelter. That's what we need. And what's this? Glass. Let's start with that. So we need 10 circuit boards and another 9 magnetic coils. How far can I zoom out? Not very. Oh wow. doesn't even have to be great graphics to for the perspective from a planet to be cool you built your first wind turbine mustering the most basic yet arguably best power generation technology 
Oh. So this is just milestones? I guess that 53,000 is how much is available here. Yeah. Take that. Okay. Are we still crafting? We are indeed still crafting. And it looks like this makes two of them, so I actually overdid it. Research is happening automatically. And pretty soon we'll be able to smelt something. Core energy will deplete. When can I stop numbing trees? Uh, this one. Automatically smelt base materials. Nice. To achieve full automation, you need to use a sorter to automatically put the ores on the conveyor belt into the smelter. Well, that's not what I wanted to hear. So I don't suppose I can just direct insert these. a smelter, which can smelt basic materials, such as iron ingots and copper ingots automatically. While you want to make the raw materials and products get in and out of it autonomously, you need to use sorters and conveyor belts. Yes. Copper ingot, that's not going to work, is it? Do I need to research the belts, or do we have them? You can use the less than key to copy the recipe, and the greater than key to paste the next building that needs to set the same recipe. Copy, paste, recipes. Alright. Uh, belts. Assembly machine mark one. Is this it? Basic logistics. There we go. Conveyor belt mark one. Sorter. Storage. Let's go. We need 10 cogs and 10 circuit boards. A horizon effect. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And thank you very, uh, very much again for the sub. Five months. Fantastic. Thank you. I like how the research starts the moment we've got the components for it. I could see that potentially being inconvenient, but it's definitely nice when you're just learning the game. Consume at least 40 wood by burning it. Alright. I think I need to... Unlock some automated logistics, conveyor belt and sorter. Right. You so have received the sorter and the conveyor belt, which can achieve full automation now. Use the conveyor belt to transport the piled up ores from the mining machine, and the sorter can deliver the ores from the conveyor belt to the smelter for automatic smelting. When putting a conveyor belt, all you need to do is determine the starting point and the end point of it. In addition, use the up arrow key to lift up one level, and use the down arrow key to drop down one level after the conveyor belt is lifted. Press keypad 0 to reset the construction height of the conveyor belt to the ground. If you don't want the conveyor belt to be attached to the building, you can try holding down the shift key. Okay. And how do I deconstruct this thing? I'm sure I'm going to need to do that, right? Uh, gathering, power, logistics, storage, dismantle, alright. 
So we need a smelter. Let's just put it here for now. You have a building without recipe set. Please set the recipe you want. After selecting the recipe, you can use the less than key to copy the recipe and the greater than key to paste the next building that needs to set the same recipe. Okay. Transport cargo from conveyor belts into facilities or between facilities. Wait, I could have just put this... Is a transportation connector of cargoes between facilities. It will automatically transport them as long as the supply no? facility and the receiving facility are bridged. Can't just sort of direct insert them. Alright, that'll do, I guess. And let's do the same thing over here. I think I can fit that there, can I? Let's copy this. And then we need one of these. Wait, what? Inventory system feels a little weird. And I don't suppose this will set the recipe for me. Alright, no doubt we are a bit short on power now. And I don't just mean... the giant mecha. How's that power satisfaction? It's still 100%. Oh, this is backwards. Um, do I need to deconstruct it? Does that do it? There we go. Alright, so we've got our super duper basic iron and copper smelting. Um, I just want to check, wait, I have to, let me check the recipes this has, I can make magnets. Well, I was going to remove this, but I guess that's fine too. Let's add some belt down here. And then this goes here. Magnets. Do we have a storage? Let's check the research. Storage mark one. How do I do that? Stone brick. Storage Mark 1. Fantastic. We need some stone brick first. Where do I get stone? Can I look around without walking everywhere? Let's just grab some for now. That didn't take long. suppose we'll grab some more. Should be enough for a few storage chests, I imagine. 
Oh, we got some titanium as well. Alright, storage chests are much bigger than I expected. Um, I guess we're not putting that there. Alright, forget the storage for now. Uh, what's next on the agenda? Research. I saw something flickering up here that, like, upgrades were available. Universe exploration. We need ten matri matrices. Able to view the veins of distribution on the planet. That sounds useful. Can I make those things yet? I don't know how. Let's stick with technology for now. Uh, I think we need to unlock this before anything else. Also, assembly machine might be a good idea. Alright. Take some solenoids. I mean some magnets. And craft what we need. And then some of these. And what else are we... Can I queue research? Energy will deplete. Nom. Alright. Electromagnetic matrix. Fantastic. Matrix lab, or rather the center brain connector. Use it to produce and upload matrices to the center brain and obtain tech. Let's add some more wind power before I get carried away. Double it, why not? I like the design of the uh, wind farm. It's kind of neat. Let's add another one over here, and here, and here. And what do we got here? What are these? Quick construction mode, right click, okay. How satisfaction is inconsistent at the moment. We need some batteries. Uh, back to the research. I'd like to get this out of the way. And... Need some more cogs. That'll do. Gonna need some more fuel. Uh, this one. Wait, what's that? Silicon ores. I don't think we want to eat those. Assembler complete. Fantastic. Uh, what's next? Improved logistics. Splitter. Sorter Mark II. Goes faster. Uh, traffic monitor. 
shows the throughput and can trigger an alarm. Nice. Alright, so can I now make those uh, electromagnetic matrix? Fantastic. Will it make all of the prerequisites if I do this? Looks like it will. And it automatically takes everything I need from inventory. I'll just leave it to do its thing for now. Can't do that one yet. Electromagnetic matrix, nice. We're already 28 minutes in, doesn't feel like it. Alright, what's next? Solar collection? Uh, some batteries would be nice. I don't suppose we can search. Let's look at upgrades. Uh, that's an easy one. Plus 40 megajoules max core energy. Nice. And can I queue anything up here? And queue. Nice. Anything else? What's this going to give us? Oh, I read that already. View the veins of distribution on the planet. Uh, we've also got vertical construction. Plus one layers storage, vertical construction. Plus two layers lab. Needs red cubes. We don't have those yet. What about tech? Smelting purification. Sure. Smelting. Logistics. Uh, what's this? Micro crystalline component. Probably just an intermediate product. Thermal power. Nice. Thermal power plant. Oh, it seems like it's just a coal plant or something. That sort of thing. Alright, how do we view these? Unlock the universe exploration. Now you can click the details display button in the lower right corner of the screen to open real-time distribution details of the ore veins. Uh... Okie dokie. And then? What's next? Take a stack of these. You can now build a matrix lab. That sounds like a good idea. And let's get an assembly machine and see what that can do as well. We do have a rather long build queue for the moment though. Uh, nearly a thousand seconds worth. Whoops. What should I do in the meantime? Fuel generation, lack of fuel. Core generation, 80 kilowatts? Does that mean I'm bleeding 80 kilowatts?
Uh, that's taking a while. Is this just cos cosmetics? Looks like it. Well, that can wait. I think we figured out that one. Basic operation. Double click space to lift off and then use WASDA to control flying at low altitude. Move speed increases. Nice. Burns more fuel, no doubt. Alt key to decrease the flight altitude. Nice. Let's try that. So, double jump. Core energy will deplete soon. Please refill. I don't think it's going to let us jetpack around without more core energy. Uh, research seems to be stuck. What's going on? Nope, not that stuck. How do I bring up that little research display we had before? Oh, there we go. Um, can I maybe automate those? We can now build Matrix Lab. Alright. I guess I should remove some stuff from the queue here. How do I... Can I not remove things from the build queue? Doesn't seem to want to let me do that. Star map. Planet Mediterranean satellite landed. Is this a gas giant? Yep. Unreachable requires drive engine to... Oh, are we orbiting? Is it actually simulating the orbit? Are there only three planets in this system? What else we got going on? Switch coordinates. Universal and planetary. Fair enough. Click the thumbnail to view the planet view. Oh, nice. In the planet view mode, you can hold down the middle mouse button drag, rotate the angle of view, and hold down the right mouse button drag to roll the angle of view. Press N key to point to the front to the north pole. In the planet view mode, slide the mouse wheel to enter the star map mode. Slide the mouse wheel to enter the star map mode? Oh, I see. And if I zoom in... Nice. Right, we're nearly done with this research. I can pause it. But can I pause or cancel the crafting queue?
Oh, I was doing that. There were just lots of duplicates of it. All right, cool. We'll be getting our matrix lab in a moment. And then we'll go back to making some more of these. Uh, so where is our matrix lab going to go? How and I have two. I forgot this game keeps giving us freebies when we unlock something. Alright, let's give it plenty of room. I'll put it here for now. More advanced smelting. Matrix lab. You can use it to make super matrices or research technologies that require them to unlock. The super matrices are the source code of the center brain for maintaining the home world. You can upload as many super matrices to the center brain as possible. You can be benefit to unlock more actual world technologies by operating the home world simultaneously. Wait, what? Uh, what? So I can either use it as a lab or to produce Matrix matrices, I think. Infinite Factory One exceeded total consumption of one gigajoule. All right. Uh. So we need circuit boards and coils. Um, for coils. We need copper and this thing. Assembly machine, I've got at least one. Let's put it here for starters. And coil. Uh, then we need some... We can't just belt out of this, can we? I think we need a sorter. Or do I need to place the belt first? I need to make some more belt. Okay. Belt goes here. Maybe. It's probably not gonna go where I want it to. That's fine actually. And a belt down here. Don't forget some power. Oh, these little things need power as well? It's not like I can pick this up and place it again, is it? I guess we'll just make another Tesla tower. So we've got our coils, and we need circuit boards. Uh, what do we need for circuit boards? Just iron and copper. Um, haven't really made it easy to put these where I want them. How do I go up a level again? Uh, 
I'm not seeing any hints. Oh, there it is on the right. Is this gonna work? I don't know if I can get it over this. Like that. And then... I need a few of these. That's facing the wrong way. Can I flip it? And I don't think I can. I do it like this, and then. Doesn't want to do that. Is that really the only angle where it's going to try? I guess we need to put our tall belt over here. And then. No? Angle too wide. How do I make this work? I guess I'll just... Belt it this way for now. And then to here. All right. Finally, we've got somewhere to put this assembly machine. Actually, let me just check how that's going to line up. This should be okay. And belt down this way. That goes. Uh, I can't build because I need to eat more trees. Taking its sweet tone. There we go. Uh, and this goes here. Nom. 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 All right. So that goes there. Seems good. Uh, and it was electronic circuits. So was... Circuit board. Let me just need one of these to go in here. This to go here. And that's our production line. For the most basic science, I think. Fantastic. Can't get these things to share a belt, can I? Of course. I'm 
gonna need more of these pretty soon. And here. Why can't I put this here? It seems a bit odd. I guess that'll do. That should be fine. getting any magnets yet because we need to put them on this belt nice So I guess we need two labs, one to produce and one to consume. Can I put them right next to each other? Too close. Uh, Piccadilly's mud would be nice here. So, I don't get that back, do I? I do. Fantastic. Let's see how close we can put them. Quite close, actually. And we're gonna need a Tesla tower. Research. Nice. So it's obviously going to be a little slow, but that is our basic science fully automated. Fantastic. What's next? Heat up a bunch of research already. Um, I could always give it a hand. How's our power looking? Dropping down to 50% satisfaction sometimes. Power. Maybe it would be good if we unlocked solar first. I think for now I should probably just... Uh, make some more wind power. I'll let this one finish. I don't suppose I could put down like a ghost while we wait for that. Oh, it's doing the thing where it makes all the prerequisites first. Well, not a big deal this time.
Right, we can start placing these. That is lined up, isn't it? These ones are wider apart than they needed to be. Rip. Research is complete. Fantastic. Uh, and we need to eat some more trees. And that tree just got obliterated and I didn't get any resources out of it. Give to me the trees. It's just gonna take a moment. And let's place the rest of these. I suppose here is fine. And hopefully we've got enough power all the time now. Easily. Good. What's next? We're already a third of the way through improved logistics. I suppose I should figure out how to make the red science packs. Uh, F. We haven't unlocked them yet. Did I queue them up? Two hundred. That is going to take a little while. Environment modification. Collect soil from above zero altitudes and use them to fill up the ocean. Didn't actually get a faster belt yet, not that we need it. Planetary logistics system. Logistic drones, nice. Haven't actually seen where we unlocked the red cubes yet. Let's see what's going on in upgrades. Uh, we need red for that. We need red for that. Uh, there's a lot more stuff over here, though. Universe exploration. Veins distribution on the planet. Old planetary system. Within six light years. And total awareness. This just gives us more max energy. Not too concerned about that just yet. Movement speed sounds nice. What's this? Electric motor. 
Sounds like a little bit of a pain for now. We need to make iron into steel. Let's do that. Um, can I fit another one of these right about here? Try this. Collide with other object. Do I need to bring this one tile over? Collide with other object. Oh, it's colliding with this thing? Okay, then. Uh, what if I... Oh, I can just connect those directly? Even at an angle? Let's try moving it closer again. Like here. Nice. Alright, so that's gonna be... steel. Fantastic. I still have containers, but... Let's see if I can fit this one here. Probably too close. You built a storage, which can be used to store cargo. You can manually store or use the sorter to automatically stock the cargo. There we go. And I'll do the same for iron. Um, I think we'll put iron and copper storage over here. I can move this, right? Doesn't lose any items or anything. Let's put that there. And that goes there. And one more storage. So how much can this actually store? Capacity for automation. Number of slots that can be automatically placed in items. Oh, I see. This is kind of like the same as in Factorio. And one more. I don't suppose I can fit these together like so. Can I auto sort this? How about this? Okay. So we got some storage for iron, copper, and steel. And then, what's going on here? Just the matrix, matrices are a bit too slow. Let's eat some more trees. Nom nom nom.
Alright. What's next? Twenty per minute. And this is wanting sixty per second. A Niren Wolf. Thank you for the host. Much appreciated. Um, I suppose I could move this so that we can... Wait, now that I think about it... We can probably use levels um, to have these on top of each other. Kind of like a two-lane belt. Alright, let's refactor this, shall we? Um, bring the belts together. And... Up you go. Like that. And can I then... Put a lab... That's probably too close. Let's try a couple of these at different distances. Oh, I've already got some sort of Mark IIs. I don't think we need them just yet. Right, so that goes in there. And this doesn't work. This doesn't work. This doesn't work. What about on this side? Do I not have any sorters? What's going on? How do I... Can they reach across if I put the belts next to each other? So that obviously goes in here, and this... Okay, that was easier than expected. I can probably put this a bit closer. Are we going to be able to do this on both sides? I think so. Whoops, that doesn't look right. Yeah, I think that's it. run out of room for power poles the way we're going. Uh, so that's going to be build matrix. And I should probably check what's on this circuits. Can I put the circuits back here so that they flow down the belt? Nope. Also, why is this not... I didn't mean to do that. Alright, assembler... Put this in here, please. We're also not getting much iron anymore. Uh, what's happening? Is it just this thing that's bottlenecking the whole base? 
Can I put more of them? I can. I know I've got some faster ones already, but I wanted to check. So now we're bottlenecking on the one smelter. Which is significantly faster than what was happening just before. Uh... We do have a bunch of iron in storage as well. Can I take this back and put it in here? I can. And then this goes here. If you click the belt, you get a little circle thing where you can put items onto and then they go onto the belt. A bit more finicky than Factorio, but it works. Oh, is this it? And it's showing me what's on the belt as well. Alright, cool. Anyway. Uh, I wanted to check the ratio. How many of these can we support with what we've got? What's the max rate of this? One second. One per second. 1.5 seconds. We're going to bottleneck on that thing. Three seconds total. Okay, so one of these every three seconds. Uh, this requires four of these. I think we're already just about at our limit with this little base, so I'll just make one more lab. What do I need here? Uh, oh, I needed to actually have the lab to use this menu to place it, I think. Yeah. And can we just direct insert this over here? Not even close. Alright, I guess let's put a little belt. What's the problem with this one? Oh, I need to put this here, I think. That'll do. And then... Tesla Tower goes here. Research. Alright. We're gonna have to do a better job scaling up if we wanna go bigger than that with uh, mines and smelters and stuff to begin with. Wait, how fast is this? This is very fast. So one or two of these needs to go to a lot of smelters. You can stack the labs on top of each other? Interesting. Okay. What's next? We're getting near the end of the things we've queued up for research. Um, this doesn't pause the game, does it? 
does not. Definitely want solar. Looks relatively easy to make. What's that green stuff? High purity silicon. We've got a bunch of silicon by accident, but I don't know where to find it on the planet. Coal veins, so that's what that is. Is that silicon? That's iron. Do we get silicon? Where do we get silicon from? Oh, I think one of the upgrades... Uh, no, that's right. Just have to turn this on. Uh, that's a lot to pass. Crude oil... Coal... Stone... Hmm... I'm not seeing any silicon, so... I guess we don't get it by mining nodes. Lack of matrix. We've run out of circuits. We've run out of copper. Probably forgot to connect this again. Oh, I don't have any. I'll just use the faster one. Easy enough. Seems like we're not keeping up with that. I could make another one of these, but then we wouldn't be making enough iron. What about steel? It's also eating up a bunch of our iron, isn't it? Actually, I'm seeing all of the iron go here and none of it go here. I wonder why that is. This thing is powered, right? Why did we stop making steel? Okay. Anything surprising here? Each covered vein provides a basic capacity of 30 per minute. Consumption rate of each vein is consistent. Vein coverage is not the more the better. In many cases, it's necessary to determine the number of veins covered according to the balance of output and consumption. Single vein can be covered by multiple machines. Okay. What just happened? We finished researching thermal power plant. Combustible materials such as coal. Alright. Not terribly excited about that. Currently researching solar. Hmm. 
What's next? Actually, let's look at the upgrades. Electric motor. Can I make those already? Doesn't look like it. Inventory capacity wouldn't hurt. I'll wait for the steel to accumulate first. More construction drones. Don't see why not. Mass construction. Blueprint limit 150 facilities. Mass copy the existing production line planning, making construction more effective. Okay. Energetic graphite comes from coal. Plus 200 kilowatt mecha fuel power increases the recovery speed. The higher the fuel's fuel chamber's power, the faster the mecha converts fuel into energy. Drone engine. Flight speed of construction drones, sure. Drive engine. Oh, so we don't actually have that yet. Flight sounds nice. Looks like everything else is out of bounds for now. Uh, so we're going to need some coal. Let's go grab some. We don't need a whole lot for that upgrade, do we? 150. How long does this take? Could be worse. Especially since I don't have to hold down the button or anything. So how does it work if I stack the labs on top of each other? Do they share the resources or something? Or do I need to... Have belts stacked on each stacked on top of each other, meeting them as well. This is taking longer than I would like. Let's make ourselves another mining machine. It shares the resources. Interesting. Might have to give that a try. Did we build that already? We did. Please tell me I can cover all of these. No. Please. Oh, that's tragic. Oh, well, whatever. Um, I don't really feel like running power all the way over there, so why don't we just make one of these? If I put this here, does it not need a Tesla tower? This is a planet without natural silicone veins. However, you can still obtain some by smelting stone ore. While you still need a massive silicone collection, you need to find a planet rich with silicone veins as soon as possible. Good to know, thank you. That's much faster. Alright, as soon as that hits 100, we'll grab it. Press shift for fine-tuning miners? Do you mean when you place them? Oh, 
I'll let this finish first. Let's see. Press shift for fine-tuning miners. Oh, I see. I don't have to snap to grid. Well, that'll make the difference sometimes. Good to know. Thank you. Okay, only goes to 50. Shift plus R makes all the difference. Shift plus R. Oh, there we go. And I wonder if there's somewhere where I could have pulled this off. Well, this is fine for now anyway. I just need 150 coal. Actually, why don't I leave a storage container here? And... Do I need to make a belt first? I think I do. That's right, you have to belt straight out of it, don't you? Okay. Damn it. There we go. Anyway, we've got our 150 coal. This is still not powered, really. I can't power both of them by placing this, can I? Fine. Hey, Zaga. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Also, Toteka, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. So, I just need 60 magnetic coils. And there goes our power. When do I get to recharge my mecha without eating trees? Doing alright, thank you. Hope you're doing alright too. Yeah, not too bad, thanks. You can recharge with coal. Ah, okay. And I should probably have done this already. Fantastic. Uh, what's next? Oh, we've actually finished all the research that we queued up. Environment modification. Is that the last thing that we can do with only blue? No. That's pretty expensive and won't be relevant straight away. Uh, fluid storage encapsulation. Okay. Why not? High efficiency plasma control.
Sounds advanced. Wireless power tower. Can consume electricity from the power grid to charge the mecha. Hey, that's what I want. And we're still not getting any batteries, are we? Oh, there's that electric motor that I need for an upgrade. Started playing this game a few days ago, still kind of lost. Yeah, it takes some time for a game like this. Um, let's go grab that coal. To recharge. And this goes here. 400 megajoules. Considering that's like three times what we can store, that's pretty good. And it looks like our research is on the way to being done. I have some experience in Factorio, but the skills don't really translate. It's still a huge learning curve. Not too surprised by that. Um, so the next thing, apart from ticking off some research and stuff, is I'd like to set up a more organized high throughput production chain. We can now fly, increase movement speed 150%, double press space to lift off. I think I would like to get... To fly, double click the space key to lift off, and then use the arrow keys to control mecha movement. The moving speed will increase by 150% with more energy consumed under flight mode. Pressing the alt key can return the mecha to the ground during the flight. Alright. I think I would rather get the, um... Uh... Wireless power towers done before I play with that. Also, it's gonna be unnecessary overkill, but... Let... Actually, no, this belt is saturated. That probably means these two are more than enough to support this. So, I should stack one on top of this. Let's try it. Matrix slab. So, I just stick this here, and it's like an upgrade. Alright, cool. Not so difficult. 20 per minute. 40 per minute. 60 hash per second. shouldn't be too long before we've got... Well, why don't I speed these ones up as well? It's just space efficient, but it's the same as having them separated. You can also stack the cube builders to save space. Yeah. Um... What was I going to say? What other things can I stack? Can I stack, like, assembly machines? Smelters? How, f how high can I stack them? Uh, 
free uh, building is complete. Oh, it gave us a free solar panel as well. Looks like we can put these pretty close together. Built a solar panel near the equator, harnessing radiant energy. Nice. Well, does line of sight matter? Oh, this is what I really want, though. Plasma exciter. Extract and refine crude oil. Make wireless power tower for remote power transmission. Okay, let's not get sidetracked first. I wanted to make a couple more labs. I thought I queued them up already. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. All right. Organic crystal. And how do I make a wireless power tower? I need three of these. I got 10 for free. Don't know how to make the rest. Uh, I need to make these little triangles, and they're just made of glass. Okay, pretty easy. Electric motor. I need an electric motor for... was it this one? Plus one meter per second. Wow. How hard is it to make 60 electric motors? Not that hard. What am I lacking? Iron? I don't think I automated cog production. That should do it. Let's stack these up here. Fantastic. And we're not doing anything right now because... I should probably put some storage here, actually. I guess it's not too late to do that. Uh, storage... I don't suppose there's a way to bump something to the front of the queue. Let's just remove these for now. And... Some engines. And a one. I think they have to be a bit further apart. Two. Oh. So we'll get a nice burst of research when we get back to using those. I think these loaders are too slow. Can we just click this to upgrade them? No. How many of the fast ones do I have? Three. Uh, cancel this again, I guess. Uh, 
Uh, what's the problem here? I don't have it yet. Wait, what? Not enough items. Oh, there it is. U is upgrade mode. Uh... Oh, I see. Alright, thank you for that. I may be wrong, but I think the arrow next to the X in the bottom is kind of an upgrade planner. Upgrade facilities. Fantastic, thank you. You can also stack the cube builders to save sp Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, we should have a couple of these by now. There we go. And that just leaves Mecha Research. Oh, I wanted to build some wireless power. How much range does this have? Not a whole lot. You built a wireless power tower, which is suitable with long distance power transmission caused by its longer connection distance. What's exciting is that it can also charge mecha by using electricity from the grid. So is this like a super long range uh Tesla tower as well? Let's make some more and find out. Right, are we fully charged? Yes. Also got some coal left over. Uh, double tap. This is not yet as fast as I would have liked, but still. Not bad. Oh, that energy drain. That is not so great. Oh, hang on, I think I forgot to play around with the altitude for the speed. Let's charge up again. And... fly higher. Yeah, I think that's about the limit of it, isn't it? Well, more to the point, we can stop eating trees, finally. Uh, what's taking so long with the research? 90 seconds to go, roughly. Right, what's next on the agenda? I need to get those red cores. Also, that might be good. Inventory capacity? Um, I'll key that when we've got the steel, which we do. Mass construction, sure. Uh, fine, let's do that. And that. Hold shift to upgrade entire belt segments. Thank you. That's helpful. Almost done with mecha speed. So where would be a good place to start 
a higher throughput base. I think we need to do some landfill, honestly. Let's have a look at how our throughput is looking over here. Doesn't have any magnetic coils. We're bottlenecking on copper. Um, why don't we take this stuff back out of storage? That's a lot of copper. Buildings, assembly machines. Gonna need some smelters at some point. Some miners. All right, that's five minutes of crafting. We'll leave it to do its thing. Although I really wanted just one of these to test something first. Uh, this needs an upgrade. That was easy. Seems like it's managing to go full speed. I still need some batteries. Not that we're having trouble with the power network just yet. Actually, we sort of are. I could always place some more wind power to start with. I guess this can go here. Did we get some of these yet? Can't stack those. So I'm gonna need, I guess, a horizontal line of them. Why is it letting me build on top of this? Wait, what? Okay. Can I make assembly machine mark two anytime soon? Technologies assembly was up here somewhere. Up oh, there it is. Plus fifty percent speed. Where do we get these red cubes? Proliferator. Spray coater. Cargo on the conveyor belt will be sprayed with the proliferate. Pr proliferator. And the cargoes are used as raw materials for the next level of production. It can obtain the effect of 
extra products or speed. Now you can try to view the whole planetary system and even the entire cluster by clicking the star map button in the lower left corner of the screen. Ooh. Wow, okay. There's a lot going on here. Fantastic. Um, I think we're good with those. Time to grab that steel. And... I don't actually have any... Uh, circuit board saved up. How long would it take to make them? 120. Like 20 seconds. Oh, wait. What do I need here? Copper and iron. Take the iron. And not all of that copper. How do I... There we go. Circuit board. That doesn't actually take very long at all. And that's going to make double what we need. So about 50 to... 50 seconds to a minute. How do I landfill things? Haven't got a clue, to be honest. Wait, did I research it yet? Uh, let's see. Environment modification. I did not. Core energy is getting a bit low. That did not go as planned. Oh, and that's right, I was gonna... Alright, so it's a longer power pole, but not... Not much longer. Actually, it looks about the same. Just about there. It is the same. So as near as I can tell, it's just the same as a Tesla tower, except bigger supply area. Actually, connection length says 45 meters, but... Or does it connect to a Tesla tower at 45 meters as well? Alright. What's next? I guess we're accidentally helping this research. Mass construction. Oh, that was going to have to be manual, actually. You are able to place on top of buildings so you can shortcut recipe copying of many machines in a line, also by building multiple at once. I see. Thanks for the tip. Smasher. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Also, Zaga. Don't know if I said welcome, welcome. Alright, so I kind of queued up a few things. Maybe I should... 
Can I temporarily remove them from the queue? Actually, I need to get some graphite. Let's go... Where's that coal? Over there. So energy expensive. Um, can I just craft the graphite here? Yes. Let's just go all in on that for now. I guess I'll take some coal with me for next time. done with mass construction. More fuel power would actually be relevant now. Oh, that's the recovery speed, not the maximum rep. I still haven't found in the technology tree um, where we unlock the red cubes. Should probably get this one started, though. I guess it's probably down this one. Nope, that requires reds. Uh, I want to get a look at what the resource is. Some kind of atomic thing? Not sure. Alright, now we actually need some wood specifically. coal that I just happened to carry without thinking about it. Fantastic. I guess I'll go grab some more. Uh, this is the wrong direction, isn't it? Can I hover next to this thing and gain energy? Oh. That's our coal outpost over there. want to carry too much. Seems like my idea of where that coal mine is is backward compared to the reality. So iron turns into steel and gears. Uh, mecha fuel power, fantastic. What are we researching now? Can I help? 
I could probably stop handcrafting those, but it's going to fill my inventory with coal if I do that. Oh, that's actually ticking down relatively quickly. Uh, I don't suppose I can stack these even higher. Let's see. I need some glass. For that I need stone. You should use graphite as fuel. It's more efficient than coal. Okay. And... Should be able to make one of these now. Let's see. Two coal becomes one graphite. 6.75 megajoules versus 2.7. Yeah, that is significantly more efficient. Fuel chamber gen plus 50%. Good to know. So I guess if we were going to make a... Uh, what is it called? Thermal power plant. We could use graphite for that. Probably worth automating like probably profit power wise automating turning the coal into graphite did we finish making this yet no. do i have room in my inventory to cancel this for a moment so the whole thing will be done in two minutes anyway surface altitude to zero. If you use it for high ground you'll get soil pile. If you use it on ocean it must consume soil pile. Okay. We should have room for, to cancel this now. find out if it does indeed stack to at least three. Fantastic. Uh, let's keep going, see how high it goes. If it doesn't go any higher, I'll make the other ones taller as well. Max height is reached. Alright. That's sure to be enough to consume all of these. This is bottlenecked on iron, so... We should probably put some iron back on this belt. kind of like to put another one here if I can. We do have a splitter, don't we? Oh, that's not what I was expecting. It's rather big. Okay. 
Um, can I spaghetti in... That's right, I wanted to see if these stack. They do not. I don't really see a good way to spaghetti in another assembly machine here. Maybe like this. Wait, what? I guess a box can kind of act as a splitter. Circuit board. And then... This needs to go here. That should do it. That's looking a bit healthier. Right then. Uh, seems like this output needs an upgrade. Maybe not. Well, more to the point, this belt is now saturated. That's what I want to see. I think we actually do need another one of these if we want to consume at the same rate or faster. that would need two tiles. What? What's the problem here? We've got 47 of these, don't we? Angle too wide. Oh, there we go. Mineral field depleted. That's not what I ever want to hear. Which one is it? It's not iron or copper. Uh, it's not the coal, is it? There's our landfill. No, we've still got 210,000 over here. Or is it talking about an individual node? Well, we've still got 45k iron and 300k copper. So, we're probably fine there. 
It's an individual vein. Okay. Probably would help if I powered this. And set this for research. Uh, why don't make another one of these? Need some glass, need some stone. Is there a stone vein I can mine? I'm sure there is. Twenty-four stone veins. All right. Can I order him? Can I do a move order or not? I think I've got a minor spare. There we go. That'll do for now. The storage. I don't think I made any storages. how much I actually need right now. Was it one or two of these I was trying to make? I'll take most of another stack of stone in any case. That's the wrong way. How's our power looking? Pretty good, actually. No matrix research activated. We can solve that. If we can find something that doesn't need red cubes. And it's already 5% done. Fantastic. Alright then. Um, let's go get some more power. Queue up some more research. Plasma refining. Let's just check everything we can do at this point. I think that's actually all of it, except maybe the upgrades. Blueprint limit... Uh, don't tell me that's all. I still have no idea how to get red cubes. Or is it going to be past this one? There it is. No? That's the purple cube. Wait, don't tell me. Uh, I already researched it, but you can't handcraft it? Red cubes are in technologies next to thermal power. So 
so I haven't unlocked them. Technologies next to thermal power. Next to thermal power. Ooh, solar sail orbit system. And we need red cubes for accumulators as well. My bad, never mind. Okay. Kind of surprised how far I've got in and not found how to... How to get these red cubes. Nothing for it but to push ahead with what we've got. Alright, so we can consume matrices faster than we're making them now. But we might be bottlenecked on magnetic coils. 40 per minute. 45 per minute. So we need more than one of these to support just one machine like this. Red cubes are linked to oil tech. Okay. We just got oil. Is this it? Finally. Alright, I'm sure that's going to probably end up consuming all the cubes we've accumulated for now. Uh, let's have a look at the extractor. When plasma is used to extract oil from the crude oil seat, the extraction speed will be different for different crude oil seat. What the heck is seat? All the raw materials... You need oil for making red science? Yeah, I figured. Um... Okay, we do know how to make those. And there's that symbol that we saw before. Crude oil turns into something or other plus... Oh, is that hydrogen? No. Uh, let's see. Should I bother with this yet? Spray coder on the conveyor belt, inputting the proliferator into the spray. What? Alright, first things first, let's get an oil extractor. And a refinery, I suppose. Seems like we need more glass. Let's go get more stone. That's coal. Where did I put the stone? Kind of hard to tell when we're in the dark. There it is. This way? Take that. Oil refinery. We still need to make these things. Can only make a couple. Specifically, you need the hydrogen for red. Now you don't need the refined oil, so it should be stored. 
You'll need a lot later. Okay. Uh, LTD Fox. Thanks for the tip. Welcome, welcome. You're doing well. Let's go get some more power. And what else? Did I make the extractor already? Binary, I need six exciters. I can't make any. I need mag coil, magnet, iron. Do I really need that much more iron? Or do I need to make these prerequisites first? I'm guessing because my inventory is full, um, it's causing some issues with the crafting queue. Also, I thought I just queued up a bunch of those. What's going on? Oh, you have to turn iron ore directly into magnets? That's probably why. Uh, let's put this back. Also, get rid of that. Um, I haven't actually got iron ore stored anywhere. This thing's making magnets, but... Why don't we store some magnets? Uh... Another one of these, please. And... Pick that up. Magnet. I thought I made some more chests. You need iron ore, you have plates, yes indeed. At this point I'd usually set up a basic building hub for automatic crafting. Oh, you mean a, a mole? Yeah. Seems good. Or at least something to make all of the uh, intermediate products. So we can quickly handcraft. So how many of these do I need? We need six shinies which is 24 of these, which is 48 magnets. That's not that many. We're almost there. And... Now we're missing circuit boards. Finally. Yes, also called a mole. In fact, I recently spent a decent amount of hours redesigning and refining my mole blueprints after the new update. Uh, can you use blueprints from the start of the game, or... Oh, there they are. New empty blueprint. Uh, so how do I do this? It's an upgrade tech. You can get first level very early. Up one level. Create blueprint, control C, must copy existing planning. Whoa! 
Okay. Save blueprint. Alright. A little bit more involved than expected, but not too bad. Tech level limits how many things you can have on the blueprint. Oh, you can always make more. Alright, that's a decent amount of magnets. Um, I would kind of like to bring the magnets over here as well. Because I know this is just barely getting bottlenecked on this machine. And that's our science after all. Uh, depends if we can... Spaghetti this belt through here, though. Might be a bit tricky. I'm surprised how high you can go. Very high, actually. I want it to go up two levels, and then through here. I don't think that's allowed. There we go. Is that not okay? Maybe if I bring this down here. It's kind of hard to see the perspective. Not finding a spot where it'll allow... You'd think if I could get that across there, it would allow us to put something down this way somewhere. Oh! Can it just merge? I thought we would need a splitter or something for that. Okay then. And now... Run out of belt. I need more iron. I do not think copying other people's blueprints is a good idea, specifically in a first playthrough. Oh, for sure. Depends on the person. Make my own. Also copied a lot of ideas from other people's blueprints to start with. Uh, yeah, for the most part, since streaming Factorio, I've actually mostly actively avoided um, grabbing other people's blueprints. Just because... trying to make something that's my own for people to see. Why does... why is that one verboten? That's weird. Remove that. Must be horizontal when turning. Oh. So we need to start further back. There we go. Spaghetti complete. Fantastic. Right, so we should easily accumulate some uh, magnets. 
This thing will go full speed now. Assuming this can load fast enough. Uh, we need 90 per minute. How fast does this go? 1.5 trips per second. I suppose we could always just add another one. That's way more than enough. Cool. But isn't 1.5 trips per second 90 per minute? So, if I remove this, it should be just barely keeping up with exactly that rate. No, it seems to be gradually going down, I'm not sure. Nope, that's fine. Yes, yes indeed. Bowers, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Are we outputting at full speed? Yeah, definitely. Alright, cool. Blueprint limit 300. And we're finally researching red science. We need hydrogen and... I forget what that stuff's called. Graphite. Alright, so where does our... I should really free up some more inventory space. That'll do it. Um, where does our oil extractor and refinery go? Where's the nearest oil? I see crude oil all the way up here to the north. That's probably going to be where we go. Let's grab some energy. Good morning. Depending on your position on this orb. Yes, indeed. It's actually evening here, but that's fine. Alright. As soon as we're fully charged... Let's head over to our oil. 2.98 per second, huh? So I guess we just put the extractor directly on top of it. Yeah, there's no... Apart from rotating it. Can't shift rotate it like with uh, miners. Not a whole lot of ways to go about this. And is this infinite? I don't see any mention of a limitation. How much power does it need? Uh, hard to say. 840 kilowatts. I don't think we're going to be okay just putting uh, a wind turbine next to this. Although, they do give us 300 kilowatts, which is more than I was expecting. Alright, let's start by... Do we have a fluid container? I think we do. Storage tank. How do we connect we these? It is more suitable for storing fluid than the storage. 
Each storage tank yeah, can don't only say. store one single type of fluid and can be built vertically. However, once it has been removed, all the stored fluid will be devastated. Uh, does that mean you can store fluid in a storage? Also, I haven't seen any mention of pipes or anything. Once it goes below 0.1 per second, it's mostly useless. Depletes over time. Okay. Four wind turbines powers an oil extractor. Fair enough. Um, so how do these connect? Surely we're not using belt or... Do we just use belt and it converts it or something? Or does it put does it put it in a little package? Belts for everything, liquid container just takes a lot more. Okay. I guess we can leave that as it is then. Uh let's give it some power. I think we're going to need some more. Actually, I kind of want to see the difference in range between these things. Four should be enough to get back there, I hope. Uh, it is going to take a minute, though. I guess it wouldn't hurt to just place this here for now. No power. So it won't work at all unless it's fully powered. Oh. Probably because it's powering this thing as well. Liquid and Encapsulation. Used a storage tank to store crude oil. Okay. Um, did we get another one of these yet? Yes, good. And we're gonna need at least one more. Research result. Sulfuric acid. Basic chemical tech. Nice. Oh. So we're like... Less than a tenth of the way into the milestones, probably. Oh, six out of forty-two. Needs at least 20% power to work at all. Alright. So we're not gonna... Oh, there it is. like just a shiny oily box right so we've got our oil next step is what exactly refinery uh, so do we belt this that or produce multiple products to divide them you need to set a filter on the sorter you can use tab or the arrow keys on the right side of the keyboard to quickly set the filter when building the sorter. 
Okay. How do I input it though? It's not a belt input like that other thing. Do I just belt to here and then collide with other object? Is it just too close? Uh, let's try this. Collide with other object. Uh, okay. I guess it was too close to this thing. And the recipe... That can only be one. Alright, we're gonna need some storage. Uh, one of each. To start with. Where is the fluid storage? Here it is. I need more iron. And... We've actually consumed all the iron. Whoops. Well then. What's the easiest way to sort this out? I could just make uh, another little mining outpost. Actually, I can use the same one. Miner, smelter, is that too close? Give it some power. And for that I need iron. Okay then, I see how it is. And I guess while we're doing that, we could probably add some mole stuff over here. Actually, maybe I should get the iron to get added to this bell. Now it's getting backed up. What happened? What just changed so quickly? Well, that's probably fine. Uh, I wish it would tell us the max rate that this is going to output. But I think we will... Connect that like so. That's facing the wrong way. Not what I want to see at all. And power. 
Oh, I already had these. Whoops. Twelve mineral veins mined will max out a level one belt. Sounds about right. Uh, this needs to be connected. Can I not make these connect? Endpoint must be horizontal. Okay. That means... Like that. Definitely need to upgrade this thing. We don't have better belts yet, do we? Nope. Still not enough to accumulate iron here. Oh, yes it is. So now we'll be accumulating iron, even when it's all being consumed here at full speed, I think. Maybe. Where'd, where'd our copper go? Oh no. I don't think this makes a difference. Uh, it might. Well, that'll take time to get sorted out anyway. I could always... Didn't really leave much room for this to work out very well. I mean, of course I didn't. This is the very start of the game from my first playthrough. But what I might do... Uh, is it an assembler that makes the cogs? Assembler. Can I fit one here? Not really. And storage. For most materials, six smelters will process full level one belt of materials. Alright then. Uh, I can't actually remember what I was doing. The spray coater and proliferator can greatly increase the production line efficiency. Set up the spray coder on or connect to the conveyor belt. Input the proliferator into it. So proliferator... Okay. Automatically sprayed when the cargo passes by. Items that have been sprayed will receive a proliferator point. The effect of the proliferator will also be directly determined by the proliferator, pro proliferator point. Production speed or production bonus. It's kind of a weird take on speed modules, but that's okay. Some items that do not get the effect of extra product, only speed. Research. Okay. 
Okay. Now, I needed some iron. We did accomplish that. I don't remember what I needed the iron for, unfortunately. Um... Oh, I think it was this. Need at least a couple of these. Then we'll add another ten. Now, where's that oil? Uh, let's see. Thought it was to the north. That's the... Uh, can I turn this view off for a second? Up oh, there it is. I wish I could issue an, a move order from this view. So it's behind me. Burner guide. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Fun to see you discover a new game. Hope it's fun for you too. I think it will be. Alright, let's give this some power. And we need fluid output. The outputs are on the side, conveniently enough. So, the obvious thing, I think... Is that too close? No connection. Let's try it over here, a little bit further away. No connection. Do I have to belt it first? No? How do I... How do I connect to this? Oh, I have to pick the filter first. Tab or this thing to select. What's going on? Need space for belts. Belts go into liquid storage. Okay. Um, so do I do it like this first? And then select that. Collide with other objects, so I think it's too close. This is... One, two. Collide with other object. That doesn't look like it's too close. How about... One, two, three. Too far. I don't understand. You need more belt. Oh, just like before, I think. Alright, and I'm guessing this can actually be a bit closer. Like that? Yeah, there it is. So that's as close as it can get, right? Needs to go into there by two tiles. So it's... One tile away from as close as you would think. Alright. Hmm. 
Nice. And then... And then what? We need to do something with the hydrogen. Like, make red signs. And we also need... Uh, graphite. Where's the nearest... Nearest coal. 24 coal veins right over here. Fantastic. Alright then. What's the best way to fit this? Is it even possible to... Get some miners to cover all of these so I don't have to come back later. I'm thinking no. Let's just put this here for now. And... Get rid of this. Oh, I'm getting really low on energy. shift to free rotate the miner. Yep, someone told me. Thank you. Uh, okay. So we need to convert the coal into graphite. Let's see what the ratio is going to look like. Do I have to power this to get an idea of how fast it's going to go? Apparently. That's a little sad. Actually, that should be fine. Uh, just over a hundred per minute. And... This is not the machine to make graphite, I guess. Made in smelting facility. Graphite. Um, bring this over here for a sec. Doesn't tell us how fast it's going to go. Well, let's make sure we leave room for a few of them. How close together can I put them? Seems good. Choose starting point. There we go. That's a little bit irritating. That one's fine. That one's fine. It's just this one. Is that really not powered? That's a little bit frustrating. Not really any point in making one of these big things then. Wait, I thought... Supply area 10 meters, supply area 6. I th thought that one was bigger. Oh well. Let's bring this over here, probably. And then... So how much storage does this give us? Storage tank. 10,000. Not too bad. 
I should have swapped these around the others, other way. No big deal. Uh, so. Next we need to make some... Science? Is it okay if the different sciences are split up? Like... If we make the red cubes here and feed them directly into a lab and we make the blue cubes back at the old base and feed them directly in. Is that going to work or do they need to meet up? Building them separately is fine as long as they go into the same lab for research. Uh, that's not what I wanted to hear. But... I guess it's not going to be that big of a tri- Oh, it's, on it's only over there. So, what we need to figure out... I guess there's no way to share a container with two different resources. We could easily put both red and blue into this one, but otherwise we're probably going to have to reshape our science here. I don't think you have to build this close together. You have the whole planet to start your journey. It's kind of a small planet, though. Um... I guess just to get red science working, it'd be okay to just bring red over here. And I could get rid of the extra lab. Don't really want to do that, though. If I bring a belt this way... That can definitely go there doesn't have an angle. Um, I could move this over this way. That should be okay. Research. That's going to be research for the whole thing, right? That should be sufficient. I guess this can be connected as well. Alright then. And since we're bringing two resources together over here... I think it makes sense to do it this way, and then bring one belt across. Uh, let's see. You can put more resources into the same container and then use filters on sorters. How sophisticated do these filters get? Set filter... Okay, that's not what I was looking for. Can I remove the filter? I guess I'll just switch it back to coal. Also, we need more power. Does this have a minimum consumption? Let's stack this here.
red science. We can just merge these like so, right? And then that goes there. This one. Goes here. All facilities need minimum of 20% to work at all. Uh, but do they consume power just by existing, even if I'm not using them, is what I'm wondering. Poor energy will deplete soon. Uh, what do I have for power still? I could make some solar panels. 360 kilowatt versus 300. And you can put them closer together. I think we'll go for that. But I need silicon. I can't make a whole lot of silicon right now. Right? Only when working. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. I guess we're making some more wind power then. How's the network looking? It's hard to say, but I think we're going a little bit over. Uh, is this not working yet? Oh, that's probably why. Produced your first energy matrix. Fantastic. And we need to belt it all the way back over there. Kind of hard to see where we need to go. Actually, why don't I drag this one back first? This goes here. Lack of item. Rip. Need some more iron. That's gonna help. Also need actual iron directly. Fantastic. There's a really inefficient silicon recipe from stone, if you want a small production to start with, though. Um, was I doing that before? Oh, it's just 10 to 1. Okay. Where's that uh, stone mine that I made? Is this it? No, that's coal. There it is. Can't see how much I've got. Why do we keep gaining soil pile? Also, 50k. I guess it's... Where is it coming from? Oh, I'm guessing the bots are building stuff. There we go. My core energy is not getting replenished. We're at 50% satisfaction right now. That's pretty terrible. Um, I did make some more wind turbines. Let's add them. Oh. 
are so slow. Soil pile is when you change the elevation of ground, you use it later to fill in oceans. Yeah, I saw that, but I don't think it told me that placing belt, for example, when you see the terrain deform a little bit, just when you place a building, uh, that's what it does, I suppose. But does soil... I guess soil pile doesn't go in my inventory or anything. It's just sort of on the planet or something. Alright, we got a little bit of energy. Let's place some more belt. Why is the belt facing the wrong way? Um... Let's get rid of all of that. Why am I out of energy again? Is it because I deleted all that belt? Are you burning any fuel? No. I don't think so. Still, I shouldn't have run out that quickly. Yeah, it's because I was... I think it's because I just deleted the belt. I can see a little tiny blip of energy consumption when the bots do things. How far are they going to reach? The longer the distance constructors need to travel, the more they use energy. I see. And now we seem to be gaining it a lot faster. Fair enough. And I think that just leaves... Just walking consumes it pretty surprisingly quickly. We seem to be gaining a little bit of energy if we just sit still. I don't know since when. Alright. There it goes. Uh, and it's getting made quite quickly. In fact... It seems like we need two of these to keep... Oh, never mind. Yeah, that was... False. Guess I can't ride the conveyor belt. But that is our red science. Maybe I should put a container here as well. Uh, let's see. That'll do. And time to research everything. Electromagnetic turbine. Levitate against gravity. Make more advanced magnetic field generators. Nice. Hydrogen fuel rod. I don't know where to start. Actually, I'm sure there's some things that... Yeah. Faster belts would be nice to start with. Uh, titanium, sure. What's the next priority? Assembly Machine Mark II? 
seems like it requires some advanced materials to make. So there'll probably be another speed bump before we can actually make them. Proliferator Mark II. Energetic graphite especially is very good for keeping your energy up early on. Oh, here it is. That's that advanced uh, material. What's that cube, though? I have no idea. Oh, there's two ways to make it. One of which we can already do, and it gives us a way to use up sulfuric acid. And the graphite is already close by. Let's grab that. Wait. That was one more research that we could have done without red signs. Should probably take a look at the upgrades before I get too carried away. Vertical construction. Increase vertical construction layers of storage, storage tank, and matrix lab. Yes, please. Don't know if it's the first thing I'll get, though. 36k hashes. Minus 6% ore consumption per minor product? Yes, please. That's pretty high priority. Communication protocols, two more construction drains, sure, why not? More inventory, more move speed, more energy, maybe I should have done that first. Uh, do we want vertical? We're already doing this. Alright, fantastic. Sugar cube is fire ice. It's an advanced material not found on starter planets. Okay then. Uh, let's see if we can't increase the throughput of red science. Well, we need more labs to do that. Unless and until we get the vertical done. But yeah, this is... It seems we're very slowly accumulating... Um... Is it hydrogen? No, we're actually consuming all of the hydrogen. So another lab won't help. Um... seems we need more refineries, except the way I've laid this out, that's going to be a problem. Um, well, let's actually make them first. Refinery. How fast is this getting produced? 120 per minute on average, it looks like. And this is consuming only 10 per minute. So actually we need like an array of these. I think this would probably be a good place to fit them. And we need to figure out... Oh! I never have noticed that. You can actually see the curve. And I guess as you get closer to the North Pole, these get smaller. Alright. Step one is to make lots of refineries. That's one. Uh, what do we need here? More shinies. And to get more shinies, we need more. I think it was stone that we got stuck on last time. A Majagus? 
Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where's our stone mine? Here it is. Right near the old base. Let's head back there first. Ouch. It says it has a power problem. Should fix that first, I would say. Currently at 75%. Yeah, I forgot I was making more wind turbines. Good point. Let me just get my power back first. Um, and why don't we dump some of these in here? Since it's taking so long. Gonna need some more wind turbines. Gonna need some more iron. Gonna need some more copper. We don't have any in storage, do we? I think I'll do the same thing as what I did with iron earlier. Can't actually... Oh, there we go. Actually... No, this is fine. Smelter... Just gonna put a box here. Actually, since the copper storage is right there, wait, I've got plenty of copper in my inventory. Well, even so, I should be connecting this up. Why doesn't that collide with other objects? Let's bring that over here. Put that in there. Should have done that before, that was easier than I realized it would be. Wait, that's wrong. Stop, 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 stop. Need a smelter first. Probably more than one would be a good idea. Copper was previous crafting? Oh, okay. Did I cancel something and forget about it? here. It's stone, isn't it? I think stone is this way. Yep. And we'll set up a little... Is it smelt or is it the other one? Uh, we will need some stone brick. 
Stone goes directly into glass as well. Silicon would be a good idea also. Can I fit all of these just directly around it? No. Alright, let's do a belt. I think we'll do it probably this way. Three smelters. Three boxes. Gonna need a couple more. Oh, I can do a bigger one. Requires the capacity of story one, storage one, requires steel. It looks like it's physically bigger as well. Uh, let's grab some stone. Red science tech also includes the tech for filling in oceans. If building area becomes a problem. I think we got that already. Um, it was up here, wasn't it? Nope, not that one. Environment modification. Yeah, it was actually just blue. I wonder if they changed it. Okay. Stone brick. Glass. And silicon. And big box is indeed big. Time to see if these things stack. They do. Fantastic. Can I put these in directly? Yes. Probably put that a bit closer then. Uh, what am I doing? Sorter Mark II. some power. No doubt this is a bit much for a single wind turbine. And it's a bit much for two as well. Let's go back and get some more wind power. For that I just need iron and copper. Are we still not accumulating iron? Really? Okay. I don't suppose we could fit another one of these here. Did I just use up all my smelters? Let's grab some from here. Iron is the most used early resource. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, I'm gonna need to move this. And if I just shove this over here. I'm hoping I can 
collide with other objects. Oh, it needs another bit of belt. Collide with other object. That's... Oh, I think I see what's going on here. No? Really? What if I move you over another tile? Can't. Fine. It's too close to this thing, isn't it? Hmm. If that's the case... Can't get it off a corner? Uh, okay. How about this? That'll do it. Can I not get over this? No, I can. should hopefully give us enough iron to start accumulating it. I was gonna just put it straight in a box over this side, but then why not bring it through to everything else? Also, we probably can stop accumulating cogs at this point. Right, so given that, um, what was I even doing before? I wanted to make more wind turbines. For that I need more copper. Copper's looking healthier, fantastic. Wait, I have copper. It was Magnus, wasn't it? I think I have... We're not accumulating magnets either. Uh, that's unfortunate. Oh, I think I see the issue here. We're taking enough iron to make more magnets that plate may have may not have been getting made as quickly here. Hey, the West dude. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You're supposed to set up a smelting array? This is from the very beginning of the game, when I didn't have any, uh, what do you call it? Landfill. And there's water everywhere, so... There's only so much room to go big, to start with. This one, on the other hand, is having no trouble. Oh, we're actually... That's interesting. I think what we might do here is put that in a bit quicker. And this can go in here. I do have the ability to make tier 3 sorters, 
but I don't have the resources yet. I kind of want to accumulate some magnets. If only there was a program out there that could, like, read memory addresses to modify... modify it live? You could do so much modifying memory addresses, you could call it something like Cheat Engine. Hmm... Um... Right, how many of these can I make now? Another six already, that's good. I would like to be able to set it so that we make sure there's like a hundred magnets in here and then the rest gets sent forward. To do things like give you lots of soil pile. Uh, I've got 50k, is that a lot? Or not at all? All right, let's start placing these uh, windy boys. Fifty K is a good start. All right. See how our power is looking after this. Well, let's just keep that one straight. Can I fit one over here somewhere? Just barely. Is can I like shift drag or something? to easily place these close together. There we go, just click and drag. Uh, or not. Okay. Hundred percent satisfaction, that's what I like to see. Let's head on over to our red signs and see if we can't speed it up a bit. That's right. I thought I needed more oil refineries because this is consuming all of the hydrogen. It looks like power may have been a problem and a part of the reason, but yeah. We can definitely we can definitely benefit from making more oil refineries. So the next step is figuring out the layout. I want a row of these as close together as possible. Um maybe with the storage tanks between them, maybe not. Given how he's not really using environmental modification much, probably don't need cheats there, since it's not a bottleneck. Yeah, I'm just sort of getting things working for now, and we... Wait, what is this view? Pick up litter? Okay. Um, Just sort of want to get things working, and then... We'll fill in some oceans and build a nice, neat base. Let's get these trees out of the way.
And I kind of want to build some more oil refineries. Before I try and figure out the layout. So I need more magnets. Which I've arranged to be accumulated over here. How many does that give us? One. Okay. We're still missing glass. I think I automated that over here, but it's not connected up to the network properly. Very, very bottlenecked on power. Can I not get these to link? Sad. Alright. We do have some glass, that's nice. Oil refinery, stone brick. That's what I want to see. And we're going to need a few more storage tanks, maybe. Or maybe I should just merge them all to a common spot. Oh, this is still... Wait, what? Is this still not connected to the main network? Rip. There we go. Much better. I guess I've set that up to consume faster than it receives. There we go. Alright then, what's next? Also, why... Littered cargoes. What litter has been dropped on the ground? Six, seven, eight. That should be enough. Actually, I want ten. For that, we need more glass, I think. Or is it more magnets? It's more magnets. Deleted a belt at some point when your inventory was full, so extra went to ground. Okay. Go. So that should give us enough refineries to keep up with the crude oil here. Now, if I put these next to each other. Well, I would like to line them up with this first. Maybe not that close. I guess probably the way to go about this would be belts between them. That's not going to be symmetrical. And they'll have an alternating 
I guess we could still use these two storage uh, tanks. So we could put this back here. Tiles is this? One, two. It's kind of hard to tell which is which. I think that's wrong. No, that's right. Can that go to there? This one needs to hop over this for a second. I want to make the smallest little bridge bit possible. That's too steep. And that says endpoint must be horizontal. Hmm. Is that the smallest it can be? I guess there has to be a flat bit. So if it's going to be symmetrical, it's going to look like that. No, we can't make it symmetrical, can we? Oh, it doesn't need to... No, that's okay. So I think that's our small bridge. And then binary. Like this. And of course, we're going to need a belt here. Close. Don't suppose we could get away with that. Kinda. Can we do a corner where the bridge is? That should be okay, right? Yeah, that's fine. Although it looks a little weird. So, this is refined oil. Thought it was something else. Um, let's add our outputs. Not enough items. I need some electric motors. I probably need more magnets. Iron. Let's go get them. Um, let's see. Get some steel just for good measure. Magnets. Iron. That's a lot of iron. That's good. 
My inventory isn't full, actually. More wind power? Of course. Um, yeah, I think I'll leave this as it is. What else was I about to do? The whole thing was so I could make electric motors. That's 50. And I needed electric motors for sorters. That's actually way more than I'm going to need. Oh, it makes two for each electric motor. Fantastic. Okay. Back to the oil. Need to actually wait until some of these are made. Fantastic. Oops. And which resource is this? Uh, refined oil. Wait. Oh, it's because this isn't powered yet, isn't it? Let's just remove those for now. And put this here. Now if we place this... Doesn't it force us to pick... Oh, I haven't set this recipe yet. Even though there's only one recipe we can set so far. So it probably wasn't power, it was... Yeah. Okay. So... This belt... Is for refined oil. Wait, what? Find oil. And refined oil. Good. Same thing over here. Fantastic. And this will be hydrogen. And hydrogen. Wait, what? And hydrogen. I don't think we have room for another one unless we start landfilling. Can I see the filter? Oh, I see. Power thingies. Why did I only make one? I need more iron plate. Logistic bots when? Hydrogen oil. This one doesn't have a filter set. Yes, it does. You just can't see it through there. Alright, that looks to be correct. Uh, 
And this goes here. And now we just need to connect the inputs. Uh, which I probably could have left more room for, actually. We can definitely do it here. I might just have to move the power poles. Except how do I even get this in here? If I do it here... Can this reach that far? Nope. So I guess we'll just... Lack of item. What am I missing? Iron plate still? Let's go pick some up. I need to make more room in my inventory as well. Iron plate. Belt. Well, that'll do. thinking that's going to be too close, isn't it? take to connect this to here. Uh, that's actually too steep. Oh, this is in the wrong spot as well, but that's not really the problem. Wind power's pretty poor overall, it's okay at the start, but isn't as good as circumnavigating your planet on the equator with solar. Seems good. Alright, so then, why are we cornering? So then if this goes here, that's a problem as well. Um, I've actually left enough room to put these inputs at the front. Not my first plan, but that'll do. Except... Well, let's see if this works. Don't need a splitter if I do it like that. Uh, can I take off a corner? I cannot. Uh, what about... Take from there. And then from there. That'll work. Yeah, that'll get it done. And that's the last one of those we need. Powers run out. Let's crawl over to our recharge station. First time doing 
DSP, yes indeed. That's it. It's a little dark, trying kind of hard to see if it's working, but I see outputs. Yep, I think we're good. Got to play it like it's Factorio? You mean it's not Factorio? Right then, I think, um... I, I need to mess around more to figure out what's actually possible with the belts at different heights with the, uh, sorters and stuff. But... Obviously, we could do better than this layout. I don't dislike the outputs at all. It's just a question of how to go about the inputs. Probably move the output, the horizontal belts here for the outputs back a bit. And then we could, and maybe bring them up into the air and then we could have the input along the back. You're running them side by side, run them end to end. End to end. Do you mean like with the backside facing each other? Yeah, I think I see where that's going. And then it's just a question of... Can you output like onto a slope or like onto a higher level with the sorter? I'm guessing maybe yes. Anyway, that's going to give us a lot more hydrogen. And now we actually need another set of matrix labs uh, to make this go faster. So let's get started on that. Don't need to then. You can run belts up to two per side. Up to two per side. I don't know if I understand. This belt obviously would have been a lot neater if these were all facing the other way. But it got the job done anyway. Oh, that was quick. And belt goes here. Uh, and then we need this output belt. So you can do these at the same height, I guess. Well, that makes it relatively easy. Uh, we also need an input for this one. And of course that just barely doesn't have power. I don't suppose I can make all of this receive power? Actually, yes. Fantastic. So we're looking at like... 18 to 20 red per minute. 
Uh, remains to be seen if... Where's the fluid I picked up off the belt? Did it just disappear forever? Nope, here it is. Crude oil. Crude oil. Um... Can I dump this in here? Yes. Wasn't there something else? Hydrogen. Here it is. Okay. Is there a way to sort my inventory? Yep, there it is. That doesn't look like a sort button. And they cross two belts, I wonder. Oh, they can. Well, that makes it a lot easier. They literally just could have been... There's two inputs, one output. They could have just all faced three belts. Okay. Good to know for next time. Uh, but yeah, that is our glorious red science. Going through at a decent rate. We might even be able to support more than two of these. No, if this part is ever not saturated, then... We would need more refineries. Oh, and I didn't realize I could have output this like so. Thank you, Burner Guide, for the yay. And Huguenot, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If they are long, they run slower. Oh. Well. Given the rate of production for individual materials from the oil refinery, I think that's going to be fine. What's this extra products? Is that if you have a productivity bonus? And why would you uncheck this? So, how many refineries do I still have? Five. We're getting 120... this is full, still. We're using up like 12, 13 per second from each refinery, and this can do... I just saw it doing 160. Um, why don't we try improving the build right now? Especially knowing that that and come out of that belt right here. Uh, let's see. I won't connect it yet. But if that goes over here, and refinery goes here. Wait, we need the other belts first. Surely we can connect these over here relatively easily. Oh, that doesn't line up. That's a little unsettling. If this goes here... And then... 
like this. Easiest thing would be that belt goes there. And then... How do we merge these two? We don't have to. What? I did not mean to do that. Uh, uh, Master Kazam, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You can click them, they show active speed, the sword as that is. That seems useful. Wait, is that full? No, not even close. Uh, so... I should probably move the wind turbine. We'll have a belt go that way. Oh, that used a lot of energy. Maybe I could move this thing a little bit as well. Actually, do we even... Uh-oh. Is this all on the same power network? That doesn't look right. Let's move this for now. Some regular power poles. And this can go over here. belt goes this way. Something like that. Uh, nope. 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 Give to me the power, please. Okay, they can't. Can't pan the camera over without actually moving there, can I? So here should be okay. And then I can put these as close together as I like. left is to get this belt to join up with this. This doesn't have to go so far. Wait, what? That's too far. Let's set these recipes. How do I paste again? No, oh, that's fine. Can I put this one tile closer? Is that going to be okay? It is actually. Okay. 
didn't mean to do that. That needs to go that way. And this goes this way. And then... With the curve, it looks kind of weird. This goes here. This goes here. This goes here. Did I run out? Cannot build here. You're kidding. No. Uh, Lids, good shelf. Good. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Placing it north south so the distances get smaller. Yeah. We actually ran into a problem with that. Well. If I move this up a tile, I don't suppose that helps. Let's remove that. Like, I'm guessing this will still be too long. Uh, Ninety degree turn and place them that way. A Sifa cut. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How was your stream today? Welcome, raiders. That's like rule number one in this game. Only build east-west and not north-south. Yeah. You can see why. Hmm... Can I salvage this part of this build? Maybe if I m move it over this way. And then the oil would have to... Ah, oh, that kind of sucks. Maybe. Let's see. Obviously, this would go here. What? What? Really? That one's fine. Okay. It understands that much. And I just need to get the oil into that one. I could have it go all the way around if I really want to. Also, I should probably set these filters now. Oops. And this one is... Can I not click on this? There we go. Find oil. And refined oil. Could move this belt. Oh, it could merge here even. No, I don't think there's room.
Okay, so if we change that one... You're kidding me. No. This is empty, so I could move it. Literally just one tile would do the job. Um, let's see. Put this over here. This has to have belt. That's facing the wrong way. Or is it belt coming out of this? No. Wait, how is this connected? It's belt going into that and this has to put it onto it. Like that? Okay. I don't suppose this can merge here. It can. That's even better. Actually, that probably doesn't make much of a difference. Or does it? Yeah, it does. Alright, I think we did it. Uh, this goes here. Filter is hydrogen. This goes here. We... We actually did it. Okay. It took... All the strength we could muster. But we finally made a row of uh, refineries. Is that going to power all of those? Not this one. Fantastic. Oh, and this needs to connect over here. Uh, can we hop over this? Yes. Easily. And there it is. Oh, nice. You're playing DSP? Yes, indeed. Sigma Bean. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. As the guy said, shift click on one and drag over the rest to copy settings. Shift click, okay. Makes a difference with belts. Left, small, middle. Yes, indeed. Alright, we can get rid of this belt and this rock. Um, I don't need oil in my inventory, thank you, but no. And this stuff. We're actually getting... We're actually already halfway to filling that storage tank. Uh, I suppose I'd better start figuring out what to do with refined oil. More importantly for the moment, uh, hydrogen is actually backed up. So why don't we make a few more labs? And we'll bring this belt over. And 
and there it is. Fantastic. It's definitely the last one of these I'm going to make over here. go. So that should give us a whopping 15 to 18 per minute red signs. Assuming it looks like we can't keep up with three of these indefinitely. That's fine. Least favorite part is balancing the oil, but everything else is amazing. Okay. Uh, what can I use refined oil for? Let's have a look at the research tree. Oops. I guess we could look in the direction of oil in general. That's sulfuric acid. Uh, what else? High strength material. Hmm. What about upgrades? Well, no, I was trying to find some way to consume the oil. I'm not going to find that in upgrades. Blueprint limit, construction drones, inventory capacity sounds nice, but we need another type of science. Move speed is not the worst. More fuel power. Sure. Construction drone flight speed, sure. Mecha sail. Double press space to lift off. Arrow keys with space in flight mode. Hold arrow keys with space in flight mode, which will activate a sail mode. At a certain altitude in sail mode, Mechel will orbit the planet at a higher speed. Sure. We're currently doing vertical construction. And... I think that's everything we can queue up in the upgrades. Let's go tech. Let's just check off everything, why not? Actually, that's fine for now. Make acid? I don't suppose it- oh, there it is. Primary chemical product produced from crude oil can also be directly gathered from the sea or sulfuric acid with a water pump. If the raw materials of this recipe have proliferator point, extra products. Red creating is backstuffed. Backstuffed? Oh. Wait, how did this happen? 
I thought I saw the hydrogen belt. Uh, oh, I see. We're not making enough uh, graphite to keep up with it. Well, we can try and improve that. Let's add some smelters. So this can do 130 per minute. And we would need six or seven to consume all of that. I haven't used this yet. Let's have a play with it. Lack of item. Wait. I thought we had a bunch of soil pile. Does it have to be in my inventory? Where is it? How's it going? Not too bad. My soldier boy. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Need the foundation item. Need to make the actual concrete. Oh. Okay. Concrete and steel. Foundation. Can I... Oh, here it is. Okay, and then... Foundation, a terrain leveling tool, yet we cannot use it to change the planetary landforms at will. We can only level the surface to ground zero. If the foundation is used for high grounds, it will gain soil pile. On the contrary, if it is used on the ocean or low-lying areas, it must consume soil pile. When installing the foundation, either choose a kind of decoration or without decoration, even only surface leveling. So, where is this soil pile? I've seen it telling me that I've got like 49,000 when the bots do things. You need 9 for a 3x3 three three grid? Oh, I see. F1? You mean this thing? Oh, and there it is, soil pile. I've got 78k. Alright, so... And then I need to make a foundation again, I guess? Alright then. Uh, let's make another one of these. And belt. Again. Oops. Right, so we're looking at twenty per minute. Is that the output or the input? Two seconds. That's the output. All right. Once more with the foundation. Uh, right about here. Need 
get some more power. Oh, this belt is getting thin now. 130 per minute. So if the output is 20 per minute, then this is consuming 40 per minute, right? Which means... Three... Three of these is almost enough to consume all of it, I think. We could always add some more... Miners. It's actually a really good fit. You have unlocked the vertical construction technology. When building facilities such as matrix level, storage, and storage tank, you can try to build them vertically to make more efficiency use of space. That'll help. It covers six veins, which is half a level one belt, so three per second. Twelve veins saturates one belt. Oh, that should do it then. Not much point in adding any more smelters. Well, some of them are getting to the third machine, so that's about all I'm looking for, really. If this number is gradually depleting, then we're no longer bottlenecked on the coal stuff. It's actually holding really steady. Oh, there it goes. It is gradually depleting. All right, good. Poor energy will deplete soon. Yikes, that is not great uh, with the power. Progress? Yes, indeed. Should we make some more wind power, I guess? This is regenerating really slowly. Oh, I think it's because I have more capacity as well. Why don't we put you over here? Oh, I don't have one. That would help. Those carbon coal things generate a lot more power for your mech than coal as well. Yeah, it's like double. Um, what was I doing? I need some magnets, I think. And iron plate. That's a lot of iron plate. That's what I like to see. Fantastic. And why don't we let this belt do its thing for a while? Wait, what? Can I not connect that? Oh. Huh. Um, okay. Do I need to do it like this? That's the same belt. Oh, 
I don't suppose I can have a... This is 25 per minute maximum. And this is... 1.5 trips per second? Per grid. Wait, we can slow it down by making this longer, right? So we use the slowest one of... Oh. Uh, let's cancel that for a sec. We use the slowest one of these. Whoops. Uh, slowest one of these reaching as far as possible. And I'm hoping that means we can accumulate magnets in this box, but also have some go through here. We'll see. The ramp starts a bit too early, just a bug. Now that you've got a bigger core power, one Tesla tower isn't an... You can stack them? There we go. Fantastic. Um, Alright, I wonder what's next. Research is slowly ticking along. I do like keeping the manual research thing here so we can see how much it takes to finish the current research. Kind of like lasers in Factorio though, so... Your factory power will be ripped because it prioritizes this, like, just maximum priority. Alright, I'm going to take just a very short break, get some water and such. I'll be back in a couple of minutes or so. And hopefully... That's not looking good. Let's craft some more of these. A hey, Veldak. Good to see you again. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And have fun with the yays while I'm not... <laughs> Once I go for my break, yes. Alright, back in a few minutes. Oh, my God. 
Okay. Where are we? Fully charged, of course. Still 300, uh, cubes to go for each type. Oh, we finished a research. Dope. Yeah, power is looking sad. We do have 67 wind turbines to place. Um... I guess down here makes the most sense. Let's get started on that. How many... does it tell us how much we've got? How many wind turbines? Uh, let's see. We need, like, 28 megawatts. And this is 300 kilowatts each. So about what we've got, actually. Let's see if I can get the knack for dragging these. curve is apparent. Small factory. 20 megawatts. Fantastic. Shouldn't take much more before we're at full power. This way. So it seems like it just does a straight line once you start dragging. You don't have to be too precise. What's this? Iron. Doesn't look like iron. Looks like blue flavored Tiberium. Your That's not going to fit there. Reached a certain scale. Now click the statistics panel button at the bottom right corner of the screen to view statistics. It includes the output consumption of each item, electricity data, etc. Use these dynamic data can help you to manage your production base. Did he say bottom right? Bottom right corner. Oh, is that it? There it is. That's not statistics. It's a very cool looking graph and such. What's with the... Oh, it's like favorites. Fair enough. Let's add the rest of... Our windmills. Where else can I put them? That's unfortunate. Can't quite fit one there. I don't like how it cancels the entire thing if one of them can't be placed. How many have I got left? 16? Ok, 
can't actually fit this one. That's fine. This globe is starting to feel a bit small. Alright, there we go. Let's zoom out and have a look at what we've got here. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought, but still. That's like a continent of wind farms. Alright, uh, what's next? Still researching? Or upgrading? I need to do something about that fluid before it backs up. Uh, let's recharge first. Now that there's no power issues. That's faster. I wouldn't exactly call it fast. Can make five of these. Wait, what? Oh, chat has been moving. I needed to scroll. That was 10k points well spent, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, did you actually spend them all, finally? Science feels way longer than Factorio. Wind turbines are just very inefficient. You can also add coal power if you want to spike power generation with less area used. Uh, so is it turbine or turbine? What? Turbine. Just six more megawatts. Placing a large amount of grid items like this, you can also use Control C to quick blueprint a block of them. A is of Oxifol. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Wind, tur wind turbine only playthrough incoming. Yeah, maybe. A begot. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Doing good. You? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, finally seeing a break from the heat wave here lately, so that's nice. Don't have any fuel to help along. Still have 10k left. Nice. Hey, bow arrow. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, that's our direction. You'll have no life with this game. Prepare for long grinding. Uh oh. We now have a break for the cold wave. Yes. Wait, is this mix? Uh oh. How did. I didn't put a. F I, I did put a filter on this. How. How did this happen? Um, can I pick things off the belt, like in Factorio? Imagine saying it to Factorio player, indeed. Uh, okay, does anyone know how... Wait, what? Oh, that's the belt. Sorter... It does have a filter, does it not? Or was that... I think it said set filter and the hydrogen was what was on the sorter. Okay. Can I remove the offending items without... Okay, I think I'll just do it this way. Um, bring this over here. And then this here. And then... Filter that 
collide with other objects. That's not what I want to hear. Um, let's see. Belt goes in here. Filter. Like so. And then... Click the belt and then click the item on it. Okay. Nope. Nope. Is that it? Not quite. Think we fixed it? Is this full now? It's full. That's a different problem we have to deal with. Bail need sorter? This one's still correct, right? Yeah. Just put more tanks on top. I guess that's a stopgap. I didn't know you could put the fluid tanks on top, so that definitely helps. And we can get rid of this. Right. Let's look at all the items we can make. That acid plus stone plus something. I mean, not acid. Uh, Refined oil plus stone plus something makes acid. I don't know what that milky white fluid is. Water plus stone plus oil? Uh... Doesn't look like it. Acid is used for a lot. It's a nice buffer for when you need plastic and acid. And stack storage boxes and tanks. Yes, indeed. Also, unloaded and loaders can filter what you want in or out. Yes, indeed. Um, what else? Primary chemical product. Um, is there some way, without, like, asking someone or going to the wiki or something, I can... Oh, there it is. Oh, it's water. Well, that's not too difficult. Water plus stone plus this makes sulfuric acid. We need more refineries, again. Uh, for that we need some circuit boards, iron and copper... Actually, why don't I make a container for the circuit boards? I'm sure we'll be needing them at speed eventually. I'll just take a little bit. And how many did I need for the refineries? Six each. It's not too bad. Wait, why am I only getting one? Because I need plasma. Let's grab some... I've got plenty of magnets, so it must be... Glass? Let's go get that. Acid is made in chemical factory, not oil refinery. Okay. Do I have that yet? 
I don't think so. Water pump, oil restraint. Oh, there it is. Chemical plant. Is that it? Let's check. Made in chemical facility. Chemical facility. Okay, cool. So chemical plant is a kind of chemical facility, right? And I haven't decided what to do with this yet. Fantastic. Alright, how many chemical plants can I make? Seven. I would remove some ore from inventory. Oh, I didn't even notice I had it. Uh, well, this'll help. Actually, I can only put 50 there. And this is backed up. Hmm. Well, I guess uh, copper being backed up is not a bad thing. We're actually really overproducing circuits, which is good. Upgrading it? What, the copper storage? I mean, I could. There we go. And I have titanium, I don't know what to do with yet. What else was I doing? Uh, I could definitely stand to convert some of this coal. Let's just leave that for now. And I'll chuck some of this in here. I wish I could get it to use it just as a reserve instead of draining it by default, though. I thought we had a lot more red science coming in, but it was a, it was a trick of perspective. Now, chemical plants... Uh, we still can't make any more of these. I'll take a stack of those. Why not? I can make two. Amazing. What are we missing here? Steel. You have received the ability to sail. Double click the space key to lift off to enter the flight mode. And keep pressing the forward direction and space keys in the flight mode. And you will enter the sailing mode when you reach a certain altitude. Whoa. In sailing mode, you can control the mecha, go to different planets or planetary systems by following the arrows in the space navigation. Hold down the shift key to accelerate. Back arrow key to slow down. You can also use the Q R uh, to hold down the right mouse button, dragging to sideward flight. I'm running out of running out of energy very quickly doing that. Flying time pog? Yes, indeed. It's a bit more what I was hoping for when I got the jetpack to begin with, to be honest. You really want fuel for space flight. Yeah, I gather. <laughs> Absolutely. Alright, so we've got uh, plenty of chemical plants. I'm hoping we can maybe use this space to deal with this. It only has inputs and outputs on the sides, but it's got four of them. Recipes... 
plastic. Oh, we definitely want to make plastic. And we've got the two resources for it right here. Uh, so that's convenient. So I think maybe we'll start with a row of chemical plants like this. Can we fit that through here? Almost. Chemical plant. That might be a bit close considering... Yeah, I think I'd rather... Do it a bit more like this. Is that going to be too close, or no? And what's this? A bit more complicated. Not going to worry about those for now. Plastic. belt for plastic goes here. I think we'll put a container for it. Let's make a big container. Why not? That's too close, isn't it? I think. It's actually not. Chemical plant. Shift copy. I see how that works. So those are all plastic? Yep. Can you run belt into the big container? Uh, I don't think so. No. Alright. That goes there. Oh, it actually copied the sorter, I think. That's cool. So this is going to go here. And this goes here. And that's all it takes to get some plastic. Assuming that we don't have any issues doing this. Should be fine. They will be back to front. Oh, because... Alright. Just to be sure, I'll remove these ones. Yeah. some more of those. Gonna need some iron.
Still got 10 wind turbines sitting around in my inventory. Cool. I think I just saw some plastic on the belt. Fantastic. Looks like just a grey box. That'll do. Now, that's one way to consume this is a refined oil. Collecting gravel. Right. Now what was the other thing? Acid? Uh, where are my chemical plants? There we are. Yep. See any other thing to do for now. So we need stone, water, and this stuff. Uh, I don't think I've made a water extractor yet. Water pump, there we go. And where's the nearest stone? Uh... Kind of far. Kind of really far. I guess it's this one? Could be worse. So, tentatively... I'll have this belt continue down this way. I might just do a straight line over like this, actually. Well, as straight as it can be. So if that's the case, we'll do it like this. Can I squeeze through here if I build these, like, so? Yeah. How do I copy it? Shift, copy. There we go. Um, that belt might be a bit close to the ocean. Where's our water extractor? So how do I place this? In the water? The side of the water? Also going to need an input belt for stone. Let's see if we can get away with that. Seems good. Any water does it generate? Uh, it doesn't say until I switch it on. Enough? Okay. And the stone is way over here. Good thing belts don't require power or anything. At least they usually don't in these games. 
that's a pretty good placement. going. Is that our stone belt? Yes. Fantastic. I'm gonna have to recharge... There we go. Wait, are they going to cross the planet to build those things? I'm curious to see how far the bots will go. They do have a limit. found it. It is quite far. Gives us a full belt. And I believe that's all of our inputs over here. Just need to give it some power. Oh, that's convenient. That's very convenient. Yay, indeed. Let's get some fluid storage. And belt this over here. Hello, Whiskers. Can be. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, this just belts straight in, doesn't it? I've got no doubt I'm wasting power in some places where we don't need a faster loader. But it's easier just to carry only one type at this point. And power this, connect this, that is slower than I was expecting with the water, 55 per minute, um, each chemical, we're looking at 40 sulfuric acid per minute. Is it per minute? Yep. Which means... Six seconds... Let me 
makes sense. So it's one to one. We need 40 water per minute. We're getting 55. That's enough. It will take a little while to saturate the belt. That's fine. Right. It's not exactly cracking. Um, but it should keep all of this from filling up for a bit longer. And are we not even researching anything right now? We actually finished everything we queued up. Still a lot of stuff to go. Uses red and blue. Thruster. A high efficiency engine that operates plasma jets at hyperspeed to create a strong counterforce, which can drive logistics drones to transport cargo between planetary logistics stations. Sounds good to me. Oh, it's a thousand red, though. Well, we're already 1% into it. Probably because we've accumulated some red science, though. Super magnetic field generator, sure. Deuterium... Fractionation? I'm just queuing up everything at this point. Except if it's got yellow. Oh, I should have done this first. Rip. I wish you could tell it to bump something to the front of the queue. Queue is full. Okay, never mind. The logistic robot ranges. Only come in two levels, on the same planet and on other planets. So the lower level ones will still do the entire planet. Alright. Uh, what should we be doing next? Besides paving the entire planet so we can make a neater, higher throughput base. I like that there's a big gap here with no, uh, no resources across the equator. It's actually huge. We could do, we could probably do like a main bus base going all the way across here. Expanding red science? That's maybe a good idea. But I think the amount of, um, the amount of refineries I would have to add to make that faster, it's a bit much right now. Working towards the logistics system is usually the goal of the red science phase. Yeah, sounds about right. We're at... We're still gaining refined oil. It's going to block red science eventually. Uh, we're really not making acid that quickly. I guess I could add some more of these. Okay, I really like the copy-paste in that it adds, um... Collide with other objects. There we go. I really like that the copy-paste includes the, uh, loaders.
Did I run out? Lack of item. I did. I'm actually a little surprised by that. I thought I made a lot of these earlier. Alright, that's another hundred. Put in a couple more water pumps. Uh, that does seem like a good idea. We did calculate that this should be enough, but even if it is, it's taking its sweet time saturating the system. Uh, I guess since this is going to take five minutes, I should rearrange the order here. Also, we need some more power. Three, four. thingy. Bit snugly in here. Where's our water extra? Oh, I can just copy it. That's good to know. How many items you can fit on the whole belt. Six per second. That's not that much. We're at about half that or less. But let's see if this is going to quickly get to the end of the belt. Seems like we are still bottlenecking on water. This is a bit less than three per second. And we need... One, two, three, four, five, six. Sixty per minute. One per second. Yeah, two of these should easily be enough for this, but it doesn't seem to be working that way. So is this actually going to drain the entire system until I'm fully recharged? Like, is that why we're at 60% satisfaction? Buffering inside the chem plant. Engraving Finn. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Because you have no fuel in your mech. Yeah. Now it's... I think it's at 100%. I've been seeing this... Oh, there it is. We're just barely making enough power to stay at 100% all the time. We are seeing a little bit of water get to the end of the belt. Really doesn't seem like it's enough though. How much water gets accumulated in here? 10, 11, 12. It's 12. 
So it'll probably take a little while. I kind of want to leave this as it is and find out if I'm calculating it right. You can turn off the buffer in this update? Interesting. Oh, is that what extra products means? For the input? As opposed to the output? Production speed up, extra... No, this is... This is what to do with the magic productivity fluid. That's the profilator thingy, yeah. Why not 12,000? Why not? Anyway. Um, I guess it wouldn't hurt to have one more of these. Where is it? Water pump. Oh, I'm still handcrafting these. Wait, what? I thought I cancelled this. There we go. Oh, whoops. I like that it remembers whether you want to do like one times or ten times for these individual products. Lack of item. By the way, you should make the profilator juice. It's good to make early on, I suppose. Um, how about... If we only do one of the Id uh, input items using that stuff, I don't suppose it works. We can make three. I'll start with red signs for that stuff. Oh, this isn't powered. Did we get some belt yet? There we go. And away it goes. Feel free to ask if you need help. Thank you. Needs to be on all inputs. Yeah, I kind of thought so. And we need... There's only two inputs for this. It shouldn't be too difficult. It depends on the spacing. 40 seconds. Um, yeah, I wonder if this is part of the map gen or just a really convenient fluke that we've got this huge resourceless area basically across the equator. It's going to be a very nice place to build a big organized base. Alright, we finished building that. Oh, it's actually quite small. So does this have to... 
does it have to stick on top of the belt? Missing profilator input belt. And that comes in from the side, it seems. Yeah. And how do we make the profilator juice? Can I do a search? Doesn't look like it. Run belt that has juice on... One up on it? It's one coal. Wait, one coal? That's all it takes? Uh... Wait, do you put coal into this? Yellow top right. Yellow top right? Wait, what the heck is... Memo icon. Click to set a memo tag icon for this conveyor belt segment, which will be displayed in the world. Okay, never mind. Components on right top on menu. Right top on menu. Oh, do I click this and then... no? In craft menu... As in replicator? Oh, this thing. Right, right, right. Okay, I thought you were trying to describe something else. Coal becomes replicator juice and it's made in assembler. And how fast is this? I wish it would tell us before we plug it in and, like, put stuff into it. Uh, 0 0.5 seconds, that's really fast. Number of sprays, 12. So, it sounds like it's going to be pretty easy to supply this. Um... Unfortunately, it's not like we can point this here. If we bring it this way... And then do it like that. Not quite enough space. I hope the border between the two different uh, grid types here doesn't mess everything up. And we can put it here. That'll work. Okay. And this is regular coal. Um, we might need a... Oh, we can put this here. I think. Spray stuff. I don't suppose I can put a belt going through this thing. And then straight through to the other one. Is that actually something we can do? It looks like it. It's kind of weird how that's hovering, but okay. And then... Output here. Input here. 
Need some power. It seems to be consuming all of the spray. Is one of these machines going to keep up with only one of... only one spray coder? Oh, no, it's starting to go through. Nice. Perfect, thank you. You can chain him, nice. So does this default to... Extra products. That's what I want to see. And it's not gonna actually work until all of these are sprayed, right? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh, I need to change this. Um, no. That's looking a bit weird. Super magnetic field generator. I thought it was an achievement for getting the spray thing to work for a second there. These don't look sprayed. Is it working? Insufficient power supply. No. Okay. Um... I've still got seven wind turbines to place. Let's put you here. And a couple more. I don't suppose that's going to get us to 100%. It is... This will stop working if it dips even once, right? Working idle, working idle. I saw a flash of yellow. Yeah. Alright, we need more power. Um, since there's a million coal here, literally, why don't we... I've actually got one of these handy right now. Need foundation support. How about... no. Oh, it'd probably be better if we used this stuff. Although, we're not making enough of that. Hmm. If we do it after the spray thing, do we get more power for our coal? That was quick. Two point four three megawatts. That doesn't seem too bad. It's just enough.
How much does your biggest sphere produce? Mine does 500 gigawatts. Nice. The arrow on side means it's sprayed. The arrow on the side. Oh, I think I see it. So those are all getting sprayed. This, uh, over here, I thought it was the shininess of them was saying it was sprayed. So it looks like everything's getting sprayed. Can I confirm over here that we're getting extra products? 11.3 per minute, I think, is extra products. Um, but that's only going from... Oh, the little arrow... These little arrows here are the same, right? Yep. Well, that was relatively easy to do. You can see how there's a second production circle going. Let's see it. Uh, oh yeah, there it is. So just like the purple bar in Factorio. Bonus products. Go. Nice. It's been a few patches since I played. I always got to sphere and stopped there. You can see how this... Yes, yes, yes. Fantastic. Core energy will deplete soon. That's not fantastic. Oh. Rip some of the productivity bonuses. Maybe. I need more power. Um, I guess we could put some solar down, but it's nighttime right now anyway. We don't have batteries yet. I can't remember where I saw them uh, in the tech tree. Mini fusion power. Oh, we need yellow. Chemical engineering... You would think batteries would be under there somewhere. I do like that it changes that text when you zoom to this level. Hydrogen fuel rod... Accumulator near the top of tech tree near logistics. I think I may have queued it up earlier, or maybe it's even done. And I'm just blind. Nice. Near logistics. Low titanium smelting? Oh. So what's the prerequisite we're missing here? Crystal smelting, which is queued. As soon as we get to the end of what's already queued up, then we can do accumulators next. Wait, which means I can enqueue this. Fantastic. Right then. I don't suppose I should be spraying the red ones as well? Does that do anything? Uh, 
This seems like the perfect opportunity to find out. Gives boost. Nice. So I'm going to have to spray the blue... Uh, the blue shiny blocks as well, right? Getting the hang of it. Nice. Let's get rid of all this. We don't need it. And... There's quite a lot of blues left here. I need to make another spray coat uh, for that. I need... Wait, what was that called? High purity silicon. There's silicon over here. Alright, let's make some spray thingies. And where is the coal gonna come in? There's some coal over there that we've already tapped, but we're not really... Oh wait, that's a different site. Okay, miner. That'll do. Some more belt again. Need some iron and cogs again. Got plenty of that. Five hundred is probably enough. Maybe instead of belting the coal, I should be belting the fluid. Let's put an assembler here. And then... Make sure this is powered. Just one of these should be enough, right? Let's run a belt over this way. I guess we don't have enough power to build these things. Nom. Oh, I see what's happening here. Um, 
That's not looking right. Collide with other objects. Is that connected or no? Let's just remove that for now. And then we'll place this thing. Where did it go? Okay. There we go. Fantastic. Something's not on this belt yet. There we go. First me sometimes has real gems. Head like a sniper's green. Uh huh. Also cover poles and solar panels to get better upkeep, but slightly less efficiency. Oh, yeah. So at the very peak of the pole, it's pretty much never nighttime, right? Or at least, if you have them on all sides. I like I love that they simulate that. Should we walk him through how to set up basic mall so it gets a bit faster? Never. Depends on angle of the planet as well. I love that. There's our productivity bonus for the blue cubes. And they haven't been applied over here yet. And we're just getting to the point where these ones have productivity bonus. Oh, we've got a mix of... So it remembers which ones have the productivity bonus. Even when they go into storage, that's good. I'm not seeing... It seems like they're both... Plus 20... 12.5% extra hashes. Okay, so it is working. Salford Cell, thank you very much for the raid. Much appreciated. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How was your stream today? Welcome, raiders. Dwarf Fortress. That's something I haven't been into for a while. I should check that out. C... Uh, CRT Hack, thank Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Great stream, thanks. Nice. We just got productivity bonuses going for red and blue science. Zeander, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We are the dwarves. Will diggy diggy hole? Yes, indeed. Death 13, welcome, welcome. Right, so what should I be focusing on now? Uh, Proliferator Mark II seems good. Have to add shiny crystals to what we've already got. Playing this game as well, nice. I just got started myself. 
uh, today. I guess a base tour is in order. Uh, it's pretty much first base spaghetti. Uh, we've got like the minimum thrown together here to get production chains going and then it gets a little spaghettified. Uh, and then over here we've got a slight improvement with uh, oil setup. Turns out you can have the uh, loaders, whatever they're called, reach across two tiles. So if you've got two inputs, uh, one input and two outputs, it's actually not that difficult to deal with. Length of sorter affects the speed of it. Yeah, I am aware of that. Um, but we haven't run into anything that's fast enough. To, uh, well, in the use cases where we're doing this, we haven't run into something fast enough to worry about that. What is that sound, or is it part of the music? Uh, here we got some acid, because we're trying to drain uh, this refined oil so it doesn't stop red signs. Sorter reaches three lanes, yep. Uh, fish pickles, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And... Yeah, I'm kind of at a loss as to what to be doing next. Uh, we're sort of waiting on a little bit of research. I don't think I can make yellow science yet, no. Where do I even unlock that? It took me a while to find which research unlocked red science, actually. It might be behind another prerequisite or two. Satellite power distribution system. That sounds awesome. After processor long line. Okay. Proliferator Mark II. Okay. Um. I would add that immediately to our production chain, but I lack one of the resources necessary. Processors, where were they? Here we go. Unlocks purple. Wait, do we... I don't have yellow yet. I've seen lots of these requiring yellow. This was red. So we're looking for that symbol. Oh, is this it? Structure matrix. And it also requires resource I don't have. So I guess we're doing that next. After titanium crystals? Yep. Um, I do have a little bit of titanium. I don't know how I got it. Tutorial guy might have mentioned it. It's a bit like... Well, no, I don't think it's like how we got silicon, but, um... Yeah, I don't think this planet... I think... I think it mentioned this planet doesn't have... doesn't really have titanium. And we need to book it out of here to get... make some more progress. You get it off of other planets. Yes, indeed. To really get it going, you need to go to other planets. You need to go to other planets to mine titanium and silicon. Okay. Alright. Um, we are running a bit over time, but I'll see if I can find something else to do while that research happens, at least for a bit. I could maybe... I could maybe start... I need steel and stone brick for this. 
I could figure out where the main bus base is going to go. Um, so I think I was told in order to avoid the sort of problem we ran into over here uh, with oil because we, we can I rotate this? Kind of. Uh, I was actually trying to build these oil plants further in this direction but the grid gets all messed up because of the sphere. Do I have any plants on me right now? No. Refineries, I mean. Let's demonstrate. Refinery... I need some steel. Whoops. Steel is here. Um, so what I was trying to do was put more of these in this direction, but you can sort of see it quite clearly there. Everything's converging on a point in this direction, and it doesn't uh, doesn't really work. I can't put a loader for the short range belt in this position. So it must be east to west that I need to build a long base. If you go into the blueprint view, you can easily see the fault lines dividing the planet grid. Blueprint view. Uh, don't really... Wait, did I do it already? How did I toggle that? Great blueprint or control C. Ah, there we go. Yeah, we definitely want... We want to stick between this yellow line and this yellow line, I think. And there's quite a lot of space we can use to do that. So what I'm thinking of is a main bus base that goes east to west, or west to east. As much as I normally wouldn't do that horizontal main bus base in Factorio, it's kind of necessary here. Um, the first step is we're going to need a lot of foundation. Uh, a lot more than that, actually. There goes another research. Fantastic. Which direction is the stone? Uh, I'm actually lost. There it is. Need some stone brick. Let's make as much of this as we can. Oh, it actually shows you how many you're going to be able to make. I never noticed that yet. Zero. We need steel. Two hundred and sixty-nine. Fantastic. That's going to keep us crafting for five minutes. And I wonder where I should begin. Probably about here. Right near our coal mine. 
So it's this direction. show it right now. 131k soil pile, that's for landfill basically. Yeah, I think this is about where we want to get started. Can I make this bigger or smaller? Yes indeed. Okay, cool. Or does it is it more efficient if I make it smaller and don't? Play foundation slash decoration. How do you change the... Uh, the look of it? Veins restore. Hmm. Environment modification. No decoration. How do you change what decoration it is? Oh, it's these two? Is that it? Second from right. Alright, let's go with this, I guess. gonna be... Did I already use up all the foundation I just made? Rip. There's two styles or tiles and color on checkboard top right of the icon. Alright. Wait, color? Oh. Does it... If I want to change the color, does it cost anything? I don't think I'm gonna bother with that. That's fine. Alright, it is... I think I'm gonna have to automate this. It's gonna take a lot of foundation to do what we want to do. Let's do that before we go today. You can pave over old, old foundation with no cost. Nice, I like that. Uh, so we need steer... We don't have logistic bots. That would be very useful right now. I'm going to need to run a belt all the way across here. Hmm, can I even get the belt out of here? Actually, yes. Just bring it up to where the stone brick is. Should probably think about where I'm going to put the assembler first. Foundation. Uh, storage chest goes here. I've run out of energy again. I need to consume. Is this coal? Oh, I've got some coal. Here we go. Can we direct insert to this? I think we can. And... This goes here.
I like to make fancy builds and post them on Reddit. By all means. Automation, that's how you play the game. Yes, indeed. I mean, especially when the scale of what you're going to need produced is just so high. Um, I was sort of thinking... Doing a quick handcraft would get us maybe double this. Wasn't even close. And it's taking, but it was taking a really long time. Uh, why are they taking, oh, they're doing a long flight to build the belts. Okay. Since you can make energetic graphene, you should be burning that. Maybe. I mean, yeah, I only threw the coal in as sort of a quick fix. I do prefer to just not waste it if possible, but... Sometimes it can't really be helped. Alright, there's our steel. And that'll be our foundation. And I guess... The steel is still got a... No, I just made it. That's that's the limit of a green outsider. Okay. It is more of a waste to burn the coal. Yeah, that's not what I meant. Yeah, but you're correct. The gamer dude abides. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And... There's our foundations. Fantastic. Already got ten. Alright, I think it's about time to find a stream to raid for today. Uh, let's see who is... I was gonna say, let's see who's playing Factorio. That's just what I'm usually looking for. But today's a bit different, obviously. Uh, why don't we see who else is playing Dyson Sphere Program? Thanks for the stream, no worries. Thanks for hanging out. Let's drop in on... Oh, that's French. I guess Shuden TV. Thanks for the stream. No worries. Take care, guys. Thanks, Veldak. These are not the droid you are looking for. Indeed. Uh, Vyacha Slave. Thanks for stopping by again. Let's drop in on. Someone who's probably going to be a bit surprised at the side of the size of the raid. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time.